that's the discussion uh, our nation is having. Are we going to employ a counterterrorism strategy, which essentially is a mostly, think of it as an offshore strategy, strikes and raids, anytime there's a target, anytime there's something that we need to take out where they're starting to coalesce, we go in? Or do you do a counterinsurgency strategy, which requires a lot more troops on the ground, a lot more casualties, a lot more money, a lot more time to try to build a nation uh, to whatever degree? Um, that's the hard discussion that our nation is kind of having right now and, and, and is going to have next year, because that's kind of the fork in the road uh, that, the, that the president has laid out. Is I'll give it a year, and then we're going to see where we go from there. Um, some people say you shouldn't telegraph your intentions. I, you know what? I, both in Iraq and Afghanistan, I actually, you, you can debate whether or not setting a timeline is the right timeline for all those other things for various reasons. But one thing that I don't buy into is that you're telling them we're going to leave, so all they got to do is either lay low or whatever. Frankly, I, you know, as an American, I'd like them to lay low. Um, and that's because if we can also develop some things while they're laying low, when they try to come out of the woodwork, the people won't support them. That's number one. Um, but you know what? People say, you can't tell them we're leaving. They know we're leaving. They do. We know we're leaving. We are not going to keep U.S. troops in either Iraq or Afghanistan indefinitely. We're just not. Um, so everybody, and, and they have a much as the saying goes, a much longer view of history than we do. So, um, you know, to us, leaving in three years or five years to them is like in a day or two. So, um, literally, you know, I, I just don't think that's, that's a serious part of the argument. This is where we would have 40,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan when President Obama took office. There was a, Bush, a troop request that President Bush let the next president make the decision on. President Obama sent 20,000 immediately to Afghanistan when he took office. Then they went through that protracted debate, which ended up in another 30,000 there. So, so that's about what we have as far as U.S. troops in Afghanistan right now. And then, you know, again, we're gonna, we're, we shifted to counter